It is 7 a.m. and Ravi Chandran is all set to begin his morning routine of climbing palm trees. He is in search of a precious sap that the locals value as edible gold. But it has now become the elusive gold. In the village of Bodhi Palayam, in Tamil Nadu's Coimbatore district, Ravi Chandran is the only palm sap collector. The 50-year-old is the last man in the long line of his tribesmen practicing this ancient tradition. With years of experience under his belt, Ravi Chandran has now become a skillful practitioner. His job not only involves climbing the trees but also skillfully scything the spine of a young palm frond and placing an earthen pot under it to collect the sap oozing from the sapling. Before placing the pot, the inside of it is coated with slaked lime to prevent the sap collected overnight from fermenting. Every morning, during the season that runs between November and May, Ravi Chandran collects around 50 litres of palm sap. At rupees 20 per litre, he sells the sap to the region's lone palm jaggery maker, Murugesh. Hailing from the neighbouring village of Kulatur, Murugesh runs a small jaggery making unit from his house. Employing 10 people and aided by his engineer son, the 56-year-old has turned his ancestral business into a popular local label. May, June, a rare natural sweetener that is extremely good for health, palm jaggery helps purify blood and maintains body temperature. It is also known to cure acidity, indigestion and common cold. So what goes into the making of it? Let's have a look. Palm sap is filtered and heated till it boils and thickens, constantly stirred during the process. Once it reaches the desired consistency, it is allowed to cool and later poured into molds. For the herbal variety, pepper, cumin and ginger powder are added during a separate round of heating. Once set, the delicious sweetener is ready for consumption. Apart from bringing out various flavors, Murugesh has packaged the sweetener in different sizes, making it easy for consumption. The sweetener has always been popular in rural Tamil Nadu, but now it is also catching up in the cities. 
Murugesh's Kavi Tamil label, now sold in supermarkets in the big cities, might have abetted the trend just a bit. But with a small natural window for sap collection and fewer men to climb the palms, he is afraid he may not be able to keep the business alive for too long, let alone catering to the growing demand.